Thank you, Mr. President. Um, at the outset, I would like to congratulate you uh, on assuming the presidency of Security Council for the month of November and to wish you and your delegation every success. We welcome the Security Council the unanimous adoption of the resolution extending mandate of European Union-led operation OPTIA, which has been present in Bosnia-Herzegovina for many years. And I'm grateful for the leadership role of Ireland. It's important to emphasize that Bosnia-Herzegovina as a host country has enjoyed respectable and fruitful cooperation with Operation OPTIA, particularly in the areas of capacity building and cooperation with the institution of Bosnia-Herzegovina. I would like to undermine, underline that the situation in Bosnia-Herzegovina has been stable and secure for a long period of time, and we are ready to take the responsibility for the development of the country. The occasion for today's address on behalf of Bosnia-Herzegovina, a sovereign and independent state, mostly refers to the past six months period in the country, which is special emphasis on the recently held general elections from October to 2022. The previous period was relatively peaceful and largely dedicated to the holding of general elections in Bosnia-Herzegovina. We can even say that the election campaign was more peaceful than the previous ones, although there were sporadic occurrences of secessionist and nationalistic rhetoric. Before I offer you an interview on a, an overview on a mentioned six months period in Bosnia-Herzegovina, allow me to emphasize on this occasion that the state of Bosnia-Herzegovina is one of the signatories of General Framework Agreement for Peace in Bosnia-Herzegovina, better known as Dayton Peace Agreement, with the other two neighboring countries with six witnesses, of which five countries plus European Union. It is known that peace agreements are always signed by the participants in the war. So from that point of view, the international law, the signing of the Dayton Peace Agreement ended in interstate armed conflict as determined by International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia from Hague. I state this because occasionally in the public space we hear the neighboring countries to claim that they are the guarantors of Dayton Peace Agreement, which is incorrect and badly intentioned because the Dayton Agreement does not identify anyone as a guarantor of the agreement. With this incorrect claim, they are guarantors of Dayton Peace Agreement that neighboring countries are trying to create a wrong environment in which they have the right to intervene in a political, economic, and social system in Bosnia-Herzegovina, which simply put is an attack on sovereignty of Bosnia-Herzegovina and it is one of the most significant factors of destabilization of entire region. According to the Dayton Peace Agreement, monitoring the implementation of military aspects was assigned to NATO and EU4 as equal legal successors of the former stabilization forces, or S4, while monitoring the implementation of the civilian aspect is carried out by the Office of High Representative, or OHR, with the help of the Peace Implementation Council. This is very important to point out because in the previous period we saw a significant violation of these provisions of the Dayton Peace Accords by neighboring countries, but unfortunately also by OHR itself. Due to the fact that today's topic is the six months report on High Representative, I use this opportunity to remind you that his competency established by Annex 10 of the Dayton Peace Agreement in such a way as the supervised implementation of the civilian aspect, which, among other things, includes the holding of fair and free elections in Bosnia-Herzegovina. Guided by this premise, the Office of High Representative in the previous period imposed two decisions concerning election law on Bosnia-Herzegovina, as well as amendments to the constitution of one of the BIH entities. The first intervention was at the end of July 2022, whereby amending certain paragraphs in the election law of Bosnia-Herzegovina, the OHR tried to improve the integrity and transparency of election process, although it was already known that the competent authority, the Central Election Commission, in early May of 2022, announced the holding of elections for October 2, 2022. Therefore, High Representative, knowing that the elections were announced according to the existing rules, made the first amendment to those rules trying, as he claims, to prove the integrity of election process. 
However, the body for including, concluding elections of the Central Election Commission had only two months to organize that part of the election process according to these new rules, but without enough of necessary time. The result was what we have it today. The counting of election results is difficult. A number of irregularities have been identified and even the appearance of falsified ballots. As results, it is certainly found that the election rules were changed only two months before the election, which made it impossible for the Central Election Commission to organize everything on time and adequately and to cause this. This is none other than OHR. The second intervention according to the election law on Bosnia-Herzegovina was made on the day of its election, October 2, 2022, after the voting of the citizens of Bosnia-Herzegovina was done. In that second intervention, the OHR imposed completely new rules for assigning delegates to the upper house to the legislative body of BIH entity of Federation of Bosnia-Herzegovina. At the same time, the High Representative made amendments to the Constitution of BIH Entity of Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, although this is not a part of civilian aspects of the Dayton Peace Agreement that falls under the jurisdictions from Annex 10. To make all this as clear as possible, I will offer you a few elements in which we can easily comprehend that the High Representative has taken actions contrary to the Annex 10 of the Dayton Peace Agreement and the Constitution of Bosnia-Herzegovina, thereby bringing Bosnia-Herzegovina to a state of destabilization and beyond any further possibilities of continuing its path towards the European Union and NATO alliance. Mr. President, the first disputed element is the following. Bosnia and Herzegovina is determined by its constitution as a democratic country which operates under the rule of law and free and democratic elections. This is constitutional principle was violated by the High Representative by imposing changes to the election rules after the elections were over. With this, the High Representative deceived all the voters in Bosnia and Herzegovina because they would certainly have voted differently if they were familiar with the new election rules. At the same time, the High Representative deceived all the actors of the elections, more specifically all the political parties and independent candidates who would certainly have offered different electoral lists and electoral programs that would be in accordance with these new electoral rules. How can Bosnia and Herzegovina implement its own constitutional principles that is a democratic country if the election rules are changed after the election? It cannot be done at all and it was the High Representative who made it possible to do so, who is in his work has no right to do anything contrary to the Constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Does one think that Bosnia and Herzegovina its citizens are not good enough for complete democracy? I would like to remind you that the Constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina is not a part of civilian aspect of the Eton Agreement, which means that it cannot be interpreted by High Representative, because this is a duty of Constitutional Court of Bosnia and Herzegovina only. I'm using this opportunity to remind you that in some European countries, Bulgaria, Romania and Greece, through domestic and international courts, there was a judicial invalidation of all changes to the election rules immediately before or after the elections, which judicial authorities saw as a direct attack to democracy. Likewise, in the United States of America, the Supreme Court invalidates changes to the election rules immediately before the elections or when those elections rules prevented certain ethnic groups defined by skin color from exercising their civil rights. It was the case of Purcell versus Gonzalez in Merrill versus Milligan. This all means that any change in election rules immediately before or after elections is considered as a direct attack on democracy in any country. The High Representative apparently did not take this into account. In a similar way, we have the opinion of the Venice Commission, the highest legal authority in Europe, which clearly states that the election rules cannot be changed too often and never one year before the elections for the reasons that all citizens and all actors of the elections have to be familiar with the new election rules in time. This opinion was not respected by High Representative either. The second disputed element is the following. The High Representative imposed such changes to the election law on Bosnia and Herzegovina in which the evaluation of living people is carried out through a mathematical formula 
and their coefficient for participation in election process, and it is determined in accordance with their ethnicity. That means that you have citizens of Bosnia and Herzegovina who are an ethnic minority of certain parts of the country and who have coefficient of, for example, 0 0.5, while citizens of some ethnicity in some southern part of Bosnia and Herzegovina have a coefficient 1.5, which gives them greater rights and chances in the electoral process. It is the ultimate form of ethnic discrimination, which is prohibited by United Nations, such as United Nations Convention on Civil and Political Rights and the European Convention on Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms. I remind you that these international instruments are an integral part of the constitutions of Bosnia and Herzegovina, which have direct application. How can any country value people, living human beings, give them a higher or lower personal coefficient by which they should have a higher or lower level of human rights? The answer is very simple. There is no country with which can do that. It is particularly worrisome that high represents completely destroy the principle of rule of law, which implies the equality of all before law without exception. In contrast, he created a system in which citizens, persons, individuals, and not equal before the election law of Bosnia-Herzegovina. In addition, the high representative did not respect any single judgment of European Court of Human Rights in which the existence of systematic discrimination was established, which is a constitutional obligation in Bosnia-Herzegovina.